What's going on, DSG? It's your boy Donna Bradley back at y'all another video. Today we got when Toji violated everyone in Shibuya. Like, wait, what's up, real quick? Go over here on, I, can, I don't know if I'm saying it right, if, if it's Noah SXZ or Noah's XZ. But um, for me personally, Toji's pop out was like my favorite part of season two. I know we had Sukuna do craziness. We seen even Gojo get in there on some craziness. We seen some really good fights. The fight between uh, Toji. Uh, no sorry the fight between uh yuji toto and mahito that was epic but like the fights that toji were in like for me personally were just the, my highlight of season two like even more than sakuna versus uh jogo and all that stuff because he do which he just dominated like like he just came in there whooped a few his ass real quick found his son and was like all right peace like what like what was the point of that I need to know, like, I hope that as it progresses, or my manga readers probably know something more than likely, but like, as it progresses, we could get a little more elaboration on that because he a character low key for real, you know what I'm saying? That's his son out there, and he just popped up and say shit to nobody, whooped a whole bunch of ass, found out who his son really was, and peace that bro, that was dummy. But we here, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me on all that there social media. We know that any further, but don't in three, two, one. Alright, so we start off with that shiesty sorcerer oh, we going start up off with that resolution. That's what we starting off with. Good God. Somebody help. Alright. Against this one dude and this old woman. Oh my and god. Before we go man, on, bro. can we talk about how this old ass woman over here is a hashtag freak? Like I'm talking Kevin Gates, R. Kelly, and that one Maki artist on Twitter level freakery. Peep oh, this. Wow. She is pushing 90, which means she's been around since my people weren't able to sit on seats 1 through 20 on buses. Oh, and she's shit. in a boys idol agency fan club. You know how exclusive those things are? Also, she specifically likes young boys, not that one, these ones, and her power can Stop bring back that. people from the dead. If that don't That's scream a whole freaky. Lot. Like, I don't know what this lady's thing is. Uh, to be honest, if, I, if it went over all of that, I wasn't paying attention. That's a lot. That's a that's a rap sheet. Like I ain't, I didn't know who she was really, and she died so quick. I never found out. So that that's 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 a lot of information offhand. All right. Then I don't know what does. But anyway, you know over here is trying to get this woman, but this NPC is not letting that happen. So he's like, I think waits for her to start chanting, and then fires off a projectile. But right as it's about to hit her, we see that it got caught. And who caught it? None other than Toji Fushiguro. This woman done brought him back from the dead. Different and even energy. Eno over here knew that this man was built different. Uh -huh. He really said so. What's up with him? Is he some famous sorcerer? I can tell by his stance. He's hella strong. He's got that aura. Or, what? Famous sorcerer? I can tell by his stance. He's, He's got that aura. Oh, wow. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, homie peeped the ass whooping. Like, he should have got out, but. You see this man, I forget what's his name. Um his name Kuma, Akuma, I don't know, something like that. But he had just got done talking about how he wanted to be noticed. You know what I'm saying? He wanted his chance. And you know what I'm saying, God being the merciful Lord that he is, was okay, fine. I shall present you with a chance to prove yourself. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready for his chance. He asked for the chance. This is the chance. You want to be noticed? You got to beat somebody who's already noticed. This ain't, you know what I'm saying? This is what it is. <laughs> Hell is strong. But either way, that don't matter to him. He gets ready to strike, and we see that Toji done snatched yeah, the shiesty off this man's head. Took that off so fast that he left a mark on his head, and they ain't even start bleeding for it. Uh, That's crazy. And this right here is one of the most I'm cooked. The thing, the, the thing is, that you got to understand. And they ain't even look. start bleeding for real. That's cra crazy. Look. And this right here. You see, oh damn it! Fast that Hold he left up. a mark on his head, and they ain't even start bleeding for real. That's crazy. And this is what you gotta understand. You see, homie still here in ready, ready to fight position. You know why? And I've said this before in other reactions when we've peep fights. Uh, you lost because, well, first of all, you looking in the wrong direction. Fight is now behind you. That's the homie. You gotta. Head on a swivel, bro. You got to be able to track that. You know what I'm saying? You was ready for absolutely nothing. Look at you. Your face is still geared at what's in front of you, which is an old lady with beads. But all right, let's go. 
And this right here is one of the most bomb cooked faces I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. He turns around and immediately gets his lights turned out. Didn't even take one punch. Bro, did you see that though? Come on, you gotta, you gotta He turns you gotta around and that. immediately gets. What's this? What's all that? <laughs> this homie is in How to Train Your Dragon, nigga, toothless. <laughs> Oh god. His lights turned out. Didn't even take one punch. The and Toji sees this and immediately starts beating down on this man. Look at the smile Going on his face too. Crazy. He don't even care anymore. He just doing it for the love of the game. He finishes up and we see bro start tweaking like the symbiote got a hold of him. Granny over here trying to tell bro to pack up some more sorcerers and he's like, man, who do you think you're talking to? Granny hears this and steps back talking about some, <laughs> it can't be. And he pulls up on her with the most heinous Silent smile Christ, I have oh, yeah. ever seen. He says, hey, you're a sorcerer. You see my son? <laughs> Sorry. I just hear it so pretty. That shit was the funniest shit. Y'all got to check that man's uh, channel out. Rap so petty, I believe. He does voiceovers. Uh, he do, he's done some uh, JJ, JJK voiceovers, like a bridge type stuff. This nigga told you going mad crazy talking about, you see my son? <laughs> And he pulls up on her with the most heinous smile I have ever seen. Oh, Says, hey, you're a sorcerer. And packs her up. Hands ready to eat for everyone. You gotta respect it. And thus begins Toji Spin Shibuya. Toji versus Dagon. You know what's yep. funny? This was one of the very few times where Megami actually should have summoned Maharaga. And he didn't. Uh, uh, Nine out of real. ten times, he will pull that shit out at the most minor inconveniences. But when oh, his bro. life is on the line, all of a sudden, he don't want to do it no more. But hey... I didn't even think about that. We so caught up in all the times that Megumi tried to summon that thing that we ain't even thinking about the times that he probably should have. You know what I'm saying? And that's facts. Like, for real? Like, your life on the line for real, for real, bro. Like, against somebody who's doing got y'all, Got you and your people in there. But nah, you want to you wanna use it on the on the femboy that, that's just walking across. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, huh? Okay. <laughs> That's fine by me. Thanks to him, we were able to see this cold ass entrance by Toji. Man's real came back from the dead to bring back the milk. That's crazy. Man's pulled up and wasting no time. Flashed up from midair, pulled up on Maki and said something. Give me that shit, nigga. Had her ass doing a whole flip and he gets right to work. Pulls up on Dagon and gets ready to box. Fishman over here looking at this dude like, oh, he got no cursed energy. This is gonna be some light work. No, 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 it isn't, dog. Dagon strikes first with his sea serpent, but Toji sends that shit back. Came in with that same day delivery. <laughs> the sea like a nigga Moses while he had it too. Then he did. It's the same day delivery, Moses. While yeah, man, Toji, like I said, he came in on pure timing, bro. It wasn't about nothing else. He was like, who here can I put some hands on? Like, that was it. That homie saw a domain open up. Ooh, I sent an ass whooping in there. <laughs> back, came in with that same day delivery. Spit the seed like a nigga Moses while he had it too. Then he disappears, comes in, rocks his shit, and sends him back into the water. And now it is time for the cooking to begin. I had to put this in slow motion. Peep game real quick. Toji comes in, grabs this hey, man by the tentacles, and oh. rips them off like he taking tickets at that Chuck E. Cheese. Like he <laughs> Yo, I even peeped out for real. Grabs the this man. I have as many times have I have seen this clip. I've seen this Toji fight. God knows how many times through reactions, through Twitter, whatever. I've seen this so many times. I did not notice this specific part. But yeah, you're right, bro. You had to slow it down for real. Because I ain't never. He ripped that nigga tentacles off his face. Now, I was like, I guess, man, did he regenerate those? Because, dude, whew, I never noticed. Because <laughs> that's crazy. And by the tentacles and rips them. He do. Like he you he read you see he, they still in his hand they still in his hand he got he, he look at that bro disrespect literally ripping man's apart taking tickets at that Chuck E Cheese brings this man up. and wait a minute what they remember about taking tickets at a Chuck E Cheese bro is that still a thing like cause I be taking I, I be taking my son over there and now everything's on a cart <laughs> like my heart broke a little bit I ain't even gonna lie <laughs> I said what is this. <laughs> What is this? Well, they, they ain't gonna know nothing about that. Guarding your shit. Make sure nobody take your tickets, nigga. <laughs> oh, my God. This man by the tentacles and rips them off like he taking tickets at that Chuck E. Cheese. Brings this man around and sends him away. He comes in with that Hall of Fame chase down that he got and straight up speed blitzes him. Giving him straight combos. Throws him again. He runs up on him. And this part was straight. Here's the, wait, here's the real part. You say he run up on dude. Watch this. Giving him straight combos. Throws He's, him again. This man is he having so much fun. He just smacking water now. He just, do you see that whole thing? He just said, there was absolutely no reason for him to even be swinging a stick at the top. 
You know what I'm saying? He was like, nigga, we out here playing, we out here playing games, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is pure fun. You know, he just out there with it. He, he had Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> he had Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> That nigga smacking shit for no reason. Uh, and straight up speed blitzes him, giving him straight combos. Throws him again. He runs up on him. And this part was straight diabolical. Mans pulls up, loops around this man, and then sends him flying. Out here treating him like he's a toy. And that one's <laughs> response to this violation is sending not one, not two, but three fish at Toji for a counter. Toji quite literally eats that shit and sends his ass away for that disrespect. And Dagon's like, I if three fish didn't work, how about 300? Acting like Toji ain't turned the last one into bones. He blows through that like Hikari be blowing through money at the casino. Make sure there was nothing left. He tries to summon the sea snake again, but Toji stops that. So he decides to switch. The boy hit him with a cancel. The middle's just like, what do you mean? Like, you already did that one, bro. We already ate that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't hungry for that. Y'all throw something. You know what I'm saying? You threw the little piranhas out there. You know what I'm saying? I'll Scrum diddly yum shit, cool, cool, cool. We already did that ill shit. And then this cloud, he's like, ooh, I see, now we cooking, now we cooking. What that tastes like? <laughs> There's nothing left. He tries to summon the sea snake again, no. but Toji stops that. So he decides to switch tactics and drown him. And look at Toji. Man isn't even worried Chilling. in the slightest. In true Jutsu Kaisen fashion, he calls in the fish to jump this man. And then sends a sea king to end him. And yeah, that was cool and all, but that shit did no fucking damage. Came out that shit unscathed. Didn't even fuck up the fit in the slightest. He For sends real. the sea king back down. And then we see Dagon wash up on sword. And I can't even lie. This shit is embarrassing. Look, bro. I'm sorry. I just seen... Because I had said something in a previous reaction on some Toji shit. And I posted something on Twitter maybe a couple days ago or yesterday. About... But my main focus was Toji versus Slate. Uh, Wade Wilson. But I put Cap in there too. Because in the comment section I seen something about Cap too. And... The thing is, Cap Cap got no love. He, you know, what I'm saying they said if it was like straight up hands, then yeah, they they gave Cap some. But like I was like, nah, they got their like canonically original arsenals, like the stuff they walk around with on a regular basis. No real prep for who they going up with. Just you know the stuff they have on them when they going into battle, as in their their shit for normal. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I got some interesting back and forth as far as Toji and Slade. Now I don't know Slade like that comic wise. I really don't, but I don't, I definitely, I don't think Slade is washing Toji. Like, I may not know who's going to win, because like I said, I don't have enough on Slade, but like, I just seen him smack that big ass cockroach, sea, whatever the hell thing in the head with it, and it just, yeah, y'all see what my man's just doing? Like, I'm sorry, like, because I seen people in the comments like, you know, Slade to wash Toji. I was like, I don't know about that. I, he might, he might win. Like I said, I don't know him. Like, but and they're like, oh, he got healing and he a mercenary. I'm like, well, he got heavenly restriction and he a mercenary too. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, told you, ain't no, he ain't no, he ain't no bitch, bro. <laughs> like, what do you mean? But I'll let y'all debate some more about that in the comments. <laughs> and we see Dagon wash up on sword. And I can't even lie, this shit is embarrassing. You are a grown ass Nick fish. Fish nigga figure whatever. And you out here getting <laughs> you know cooked. Man, fish, figure. <laughs> Thought he was a giga figure, but he wasn't. <laughs> Let's go. You are a grown ass nick fish fish nigga figure whatever. And you out here getting cooked in your own domain. That fish part. losing in the water is like the average black man losing to a three foot Chinese kid and a That's one on crazy. one. That is your That's own crazy. turf. That is where you That's belong. Crazy. How are you losing? And your Told own you habitat. Back down <laughs> and Dagon out here on one knee. Bro was just trashing him for having no cursed energy and now he hitting the Vegeta. He gets Ooh. up, blinks three times, and told you already there. Shit gotta be What's scary good, as fuck. Nigga out here moving like a jump scare. He tries to block <laughs> with his water bending. Like and told you reminds scare. him he ain't a part of the team. Hits him with the right, snatches that shit, and then he ain't a what? Water bending. But told you reminds him. Scary as fuck. Nigga out here moving like a jump scare. He tries to block with his water bending. But told you reminds him he ain't a part of the team. Hits he ain't part of the team. <laughs> Done with the right, snatches that shit, and then goes for the left. Then he adds one more for good measure. And yeah, now his ass wanna start backtracking. Crazy. He tries to use those fish for the up team. You no, know, cause like I'm, I'm glad Toji you did get this fight because between Humpy with the shiesty and uh Megumi, them wasn't really fights. He was more so like keeping Megumi on his toes. Pretty much the whole fight. I feel like he didn't really press Megumi like he pressed this nigga. He pressed this nigga. He ain't, he ain't do Megumi like he. I feel like in the back of his mind the whole time he was fighting him, he had an inkling of who, the, who that boy was. So he ain't press him like that, but he wanted to see what he was about. 
Uh, and homie with the shice didn't really even get a chance to, you know what I'm saying? He just got his ass whooped, like, quickly. Um, so this this man, he told you got to release it on this nigga. Like, ah, we gonna stretch some things out. <laughs> Time, but Toji Please? sidesteps and hits this man with the nastiest rollover and snatch combo. Then he winds up from Timbuk2 and stomps <laughs> on his ass with the loafers on too. Dagon falls to the floor and Toji decides it's time to end this. Dagon starts to see what's going on and decides to dip, but he must have forgot he was in Jujutsu Kaisen. Ain't no and such thing as a one on one around here. Oh, the old man comes in and sends his ass right back down. Toji uses his weapon as a pole vault and pulls up to complete the jump. Brody out here talking about some, it's not over. And Toji's like, I then beats the shit out of him. Oh, Nigga, God. Look at this this nigga wasn't around when he was a kid. Just some after beat school ass beatings would have been lethal. He That's finishes the craziest up and part, dog. It wasn't even nothing crazy. Like, you know how they do that. Quick move, like say like this, -sing -sing, put the sword away, and then watch the body parts like just like just separate. You know what I'm saying? Them quick kills. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, or like how how even this is a little slower, but how remember how Gojo like just like rip dude's head off. Oh no, well Jogo survived that, but still, and even with a uh, Hanami, I believe the, the the tree one, he just you know what I'm saying? And the quick move kills. This wasn't under that. He was like, I'ma beat the dog Shh, out of you, bruh. I'm going to hit you over and over and over again until the lights are off. Bruh. Dagon is now Dagon. <laughs> wow, really? And Dagon is now Dagon. <laughs> Okay, that sounded a lot better in my head. So yeah, the so gone is gone. Himself. But now they got a new problem. Toji. He just saved their sorry asses back then. But now he looked like he about to run a fade. But on who? Find out next time on Noah Ball Z. No. <laughs> you know, lately, I've been seeing a lot of people making fun of Jogo for losing to Sukuna. But at least Jogo stood on business for real. Megumi got taken outside and immediately tried to dip. I'm gonna like say this again. Megumi, I've said it before, he just... Megumi didn't even realize where he was at until he was halfway through the air, bruh. He had absolutely no recollection of going through the window. He didn't. That's how fast Toji moved this man. <laughs> like, he ain't even tried for real. Can you, imagine, sorry, can you imagine that? You standing on some shit all of a sudden, whew, you just in midair. Midair. Just you know, lovely scenery. <laughs> Action in this fight is to use rabbit escape, but Toji's on that. No free eats. And this next part was genuinely funny as hell. Cause bro gets on the ground and he dead ass hits the Usain boat and gets out of there. This shit had me in tears. Toji got this man hitting a full stride. He's right behind me, isn't he? As for him. He turns back around and Toji's already there. And I'm not even gonna make fun of him for this reaction. Cause this shit gotta be scary as fuck. Do moves like he playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Megami sees that he can't run away and squares up. And Mega Me scoring up is the equivalent to Steph Curry when he had that shooting sleeve on, or Jordan Poole when the baddies courtside. But it has the opposite effect. The when you see him do this, instead of getting hype, you just know you about to see the most lackluster performance of all time. And Mega Me did not <laughs> fail to disappoint. Up with he garbage. comes in with the left hook, but no. gets blocked. And not only did he get blocked, this nigga had his head down and his eyes closed. Mega Me goes 0 for 9 from the field and then proceeds to get his shit oh, rocked. Yeah. Yeah, that's gotta be like he really gave you that 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 Matrix one. I remember how Neo did Agent Smith. <laughs> like he hit you with that, bro. Like, what are you? Oh my God! His eyes closed. Megumi me goes 0 for 9 from the field and then proceeds to get his shit rocked. Trying so hard. Y'all see his face? Megumi Sorry. Goes 0 for 9. He missed nigga trying so hard to punch this man. From the field and then proceeds to get his shit oh rocked with a nasty backhand. God, I'm looking crazy. And I know y'all thinking, the fight's this over familiar. there. And that's because Sukuna did them the exact oh, same dang, way. Right. Bro never learns. He dang. distracts him with the rabbit and tries to go for what I like to call the Suarez special. But he fails. He tries to spin back with a backhand of his own, but Toji blocks it. He tries to go on for a part two, but gets stopped again. Brody got a reverse three peat. He 0 for 3. And Megami's ass is like, huh, he got one of my hands. Let me give him the Stupid. other with your dumb Let ass. And look other. at bro's face. He knew he fucked up. He realized he ain't built for this. Face ass. Guess the daylight's locked out of him. Got him looking silly as yeah, hell. And I can't even lie. I didn't even know the rabbits could throw hands like this for real. For I'm real. sorry. They I move. wasn't really familiar they, they with your game. Got me looking like Shaq. But you know it's bad when a vegetarian creature is out here throwing better hands than you are. I'm talking about. I mean, you ain't got disrespect, my man. Like, you know, what I'm saying? he 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 out there. You know, he he threw some punches. You know what I'm saying? Like, the rabbit ain't hit him. Ain't, ain't hit him either. So I'm saying the rabbit 
you just, what, 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 he did that. Don't get me wrong. He 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 there. He, he there. You know what I'm saying? Can't disrespect him. <laughs> what about you, Mega Me? You suck. You suck. <laughs> Mega Me away like some garbage. And then true to Jujutsu Kaisen fashion, the rabbits go in the jumper. Oh, this part was so the next cold. Is crazy. So, so cold. Keep lock in real quick. Toji throws up his weapon like he throwing up an alley. Then stomps on the ground, breaking it up. He finds the debris mid air. And so yeah. So y'all think Slade just sweeping this nigga? Like for the ones that think it, I'm just I'm not saying that everyone who thinks that Slade would win thinks that it would be a total sweep, but like for the ones that do, this nigga, like, come on now, like, be reasonable. Even if you think that nigga Slade gonna win, be reasonable now. <laughs> what do you mean? He started using it to pee, then stomps on the ground, breaking it up. He finds the debris mid air and started using it to piece up the rabbits. And this is some crazy For coordination real? right here. He ain't Bruh. even looking. He finishes Bruh. up, catches his weapon, and making me. He don't even need a gun, bro. <laughs> he don't even need a gun, dog. <laughs> like what? Gives us his fifth Wallahi unfinished reaction Man, of the day. stomped on and the ground. Point, like what? most normal people would have already given up. But when we cut I to the next that, scene, sorry, y'all got this. This is this is Toji on average, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is this man, like, man, he ain't even got the slug thing, bro. You know what I mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Somehow, he's still trying to box. Bro, thank you, Nick at 30. Never, never back, back down, down never, never give, up, give right? up. Bro, you are not him. It is time to give up. And oh. after this next ass beating, he sure did. Toji sees this shit and gives this dude a clean left. Got him bouncing off. He tries to spin back for whatever reason. But bro tells him to look up. Got him saying hello. You can think he had done. Toji spins around and finishes off with the insane elbow. Clean his three-piece combo since the Happy Meal. Almost mm. changed the genre too. Nearly took his ass out with Truck Coon. Game your turn JJK shot, into an Isekai. <laughs> Megumi me finally realizes that his ass ain't built for this and hits the dad. The but Toji ain't letting him go. Brody straight up starts Start sniping. Throwing him. shit at him, bro. Chifu aim. Out here throwing. Nigga, is that a truck? Niggas really be moving crazy when they laugh on the line. Bro, he didn't give up. He just like, all right. I promise. Like, I've been chasing you up and down this whole show. I'ma just, I'm gonna get a little tired. I'm gonna, I'm just throw some shit at you. Miss you. Bro has never moved like this, not once in his life. <laughs> Told you almost sniped his ass in mid air too. Get that man a phase contract. Megumi me flies away, and then he decides it's time to get smart. He lures Toji into the building, turns on the water, and then he pulls up to electrocute him. And that was nice and all, but Toji walked out of that shit unscathed. Easy. No damage to the fit whatsoever. Toji comes on Megumi, <laughs> pause, resume, and Megumi wow. hits him with this clean ass dodge. That was, that was taking that all was, night. Toji yeah, goes in was, for the kill, really but we thing. see Megumi make a 200 IQ play making him fall into the shadow and redirecting his hit. And now it's Megami's turn. But he ain't like that. Toji wheezed it. And it looks like Megami is finally fit. That's when Toji was like, oh, hold on. Wait a minute. You got a little slick move on me. Hold up. You got a slick move on me. Oh. You got to be my blood. <laughs> I'm like, that's it. He hit that scene like, ain't nobody hit nothing like that unless they got a little bit of my blood in them, boy. Who's, what's your name? Hold on. What's your last name, nigga? Like I know you my blood, but I gotta make sure which 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 blood you is. Which, what's what's your last name? <laughs> Finished. But then we get a flashback, and Toji finally remembers that he has a son. About damn time, nigga. We see him come too, and Megami is ready to summon Maharaga. First time he's had a good reason to use him too. Toji asks his name. He says Fushiguro, and he's like, "Aight, you good?" And he kills himself. <laughs> you got passed it. Yeah, not gonna lie, this gotta be traumatizing as hell. How old is this kid? For real, we ended off, like 15, this video 16. was sponsored by Anime Express. Anime Express has a variety of merchandise from all your favorite. Uh, dope stuff. Oh, props on the ad. Yo, hey. That was dope. Listen to that dope. Here, uh, or facts, whatever. Yeah, bro. Like I said, Toji is probably, he, Toji probably my favorite character in JJK. Like, his energy is just violation. Like, I love the fact that he, that man coming with basic shit. Like, man, really... He really went in there, even though he didn't use it on none of like the, the the people that actually fight. Like he really went in there with a gun and used it <laughs> and completed an issue with it. Like he's like, it's the simple shit. You know what I'm saying? They don't ever expect that because they always expect people to bust in there on some crazy cursed energy shit. Homie, walk through the front door. <laughs> like, yo, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, nah, Toji built all the way different. Very, very nice elaboration on man's. That's the take. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me on all that there social media. And I'll catch y'all next, fam. Peace. Thank you.